Okay, learn about making the right choices to a healthy lifestyle. We are live at Heritage Park with what you can expect at this weekend's Veg Fest. We have Senor Rodriguez, a volunteer organizer, joining us live to discuss what we can expect. First of all, good morning, Sunny. Thank you so much for being right here with us on First Edition. Tell us what we can expect from Veg Fest this year. What is the event? What is it featuring? Yeah, good morning, Barbie, and thank you for having us on. This Saturday, we have our fifth annual Corpus Christi Veg Fest going on at Heritage Park from 10 to 4. It's a free community event. We're going to have vendors and food vendors coming in from around the state showing food with a new twist. It's going to be 100% plant-based. We're going to have music, face painting, all types of activities. We have celebrity guest Chef Eddie Garza flying in to do a cooking demo and show us how to make all of our fa favorite meals plant-based. Sonny, why is an event like this so important here in South Texas? Uh, what, why create a veg fest to begin with? Yeah, the, this veg fest is put on 100% by volunteers, and we put this event on to showcase how good food could be made 100% plant-based. So we're looking for healthier options, we're looking for cost-saving options, and also it's extremely good for the environment. We're just trying to bring the best of all the worlds and combine it into one plate on a daily basis. What, uh, give us some examples of some plant-based food that you will be featuring. I've read tamales, plant-based tamales. I've never heard of that. Burgers, of course, I've seen. Anything else that we can expect there? Yes, we're, we'll have, of course, we'll have fruit cups out there. We'll have all your favorite sweets like we have here today. We have cupcakes, we have cookies, we have the burgers, we have tacos that are gonna be there. All of your favorite meals can be made plant-based and that's what we're putting this event on to showcase how it could be done and how tasteful it is. Well, Sonny, I'm looking forward to this because we're gonna be visiting with you in the next half hour and you are gonna help me or whoever we're speaking with next is gonna help me convince Barbie that this is some <laughs> tasty food, some good stuff, because she poo-poos this the whole time. No, no, I'm just interested because I, I'm, I have never really had anything plant-based and I'm reading, you know, kettle corn, I, you know, tamales, okay? So you, you piqued my interest, there. you piqued my interest. <laughs> now reel me in, Sonny, reel me in. We'll do that in the next half hour. Have some good arguments for us, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're going to have that info <laughs> on our website at kfitv.com. Uh, Mariah, have you ever tasted anything plant-based? I have. Okay, uh, what? One of my friends in college was a vegetarian mm -hmm. or vegan, and so we would always go to lunch at vegan spots, mm. and so that it's was my so first time. so many different time. offerings now. Than, it's a, it's than different long, long for ago. sure. If you grew up and you're, all, you know, you're so used to eating non-vegan foods all the time, it is a yeah. little different taste. Um, but it's it's all right every now and then. <laughs>